There is absolute chaos at BBC's broadcasting house in London as BBC News has gone off air because the staff in London decided to walk out of the offices and studios. Why? Because of empathy <laughs> towards strikers. Anyway, let's talk about what's going on in this video. So BBC staff decided to walk out <laughs> of the main headquarters and the offices in central London. And uh, BBC News went off air. And not, basically, not necessarily just like a one-off. Um, various news segments, uh, the actual uh, news bulletins and headlines, those sessions completely cancelled now uh, because there are not enough people in the actual offices and the studio to run the news bulletin. Absolutely embarrassing. By the way, this only applies to uh, BBC News in London. Not all the other programs or entertainments and everything else that they do or match of the day. This is fascinating. And when I tell you the reason that they walked out, you would just be questioning a lot of things in life. So <laughs> this is what they actually announced. And uh, this is what you see on TV. Uh, so due to industrial action, there will be no BBC London bulletins on BBC One today at 1.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Other programs will be broadcast at these times and our breakfast bulletins tomorrow will be provided by our team in Salford. Um, what? <laughs> now, the main reason this happened was because you've got all the trade unions going on strike these days from railway to Royal Mail to everything else you see, basically. And uh, <laughs> the BBC staff in London are trying to do socialist solidarity uh, with uh, the civil servants who are going on strike as well as some of the local radio BBC local radio regional radio uh, staff who are also going on strike because they're against the BBC reforms they are so much against BBC reforms because some of them are going to lose their jobs <laughs> that they've gone on strike so it's, it's a local matter in each area but BBC News in London decided to just go on strike not because it was affecting them but because of solidarity. Yes, Karl Marx would be proud. This was the main reason that they went on strike in London. So on the same day, when they were joined by civil servants and others who were protesting and they're going on strike, the London BBC staff also went on strike over reforms to local radio services. What's it got to do with you? Don't, don't, don't tell me, oh, because they're colleagues and it's just solidarity. You can't bring down the whole news program because... You, you you have a well a comrade in one of the regions who is protesting against the BBC reforms of radio services. Yes, some people are going to get redundant. The size of the BBC is so large, you need to cut it down. We can't spend uh, so much of taxpayers' money on all these divisions that you have in the BBC. It's like a Death Star. It's so large and vast. It's like an empire at this point. And they are saying, well, no, no, no. Not only should we do make any cuts, we should just completely increase the size of the BBC turned it into the NHS. Why not? We could clap 8 p.m. every Thursday for the BBC as well. You can't do this. And you can't really have the London staff going on strike <laughs> just because they want to show solidarity to other places, a local matter, local reform to the BBC. Absolutely chaotic. But again, a lot of people are going to say, well, I don't really care. I've cancelled my TV license. It's not really about that. It's a principle because it, the BBC is still affecting, influencing the rest of society. So, you know, it makes you feel better for cancelling your TV license, but there, there are still other people who are paying the license fee and there's, the BBC still exists and it's got so much influence, unfortunately, in the country, even though nobody watches it. And this is the problem. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this hilarious BBC update. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.